Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day over there. To start things off in 2024, I have a brand new PowerPoint game for you guys. You can grab this free PowerPoint game template in the description box below this video. But I hope you guys can watch this video until the end uh, to learn how to edit this PowerPoint game for your own lessons and classroom. And if you want to help out this channel, you can like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. And if you want more awesome PowerPoint games like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on my channel. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave it in the comment section below this video and I'll take a look at it. If you guys have ideas for a brand new game, I can try making it and who knows, maybe uh, your game will be up on my next video. Again, I want to say a big, huge thank you to all of you subscribers and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So this is a brand new PowerPoint game called Pokemon Soccer all-star you can use this powerpoint game however however way you want and i will be showing you guys how to edit this game as well so please uh watch this video until the end to learn how to um edit your own game as well i will be leaving the link in the description below this video so you can grab the materials pictures and sound files for your game and also don't forget to install uh, the font for your PowerPoint game so that your game will look like the demonstration video that I'll be showing you. Um, this game has 50 Q&A slides, um, but you can add more slides, uh, more QA slides, and I'll show you how to do that later as well. All right, so let's hit the play button here to start the game. This is the main uh, title screen. And you want to click on the pokey, pokey soccer ball here to start the game. So click on that to start the game. All right, we have some options here on the left. We have the rules. We'll go through that later. Support more projects button if you want to support more projects, the start button and the visit channel button if you want to visit my channel to check out awesome PowerPoint games. So let's click on the rules here. Check out the rules on how to play the game. But this is just one way of playing the game. But you can use it however way you want. So you can play it one-on-one -on -one or make four teams. You click on the question button to start the game and the students will get a chance to answer the question. If the student's answer is correct, they get a chance to try and score a goal. Um, I'll show you that later as well. And if the student's answer is wrong, click on the red card and um, they won't get a chance to score any goal. If the students can score a goal, add one point to the scoreboard. The team with the most goal wins. So this is just one way of how you can use this game, but you can use it however way you want for your class. And if you are a parent, this might be an awesome game to teach your children some English phrases or grammars or whatever you want to put into this game to teach your children or child. So let's click on the go back button here. And to go back to um, bigger, bigger, bigger the main title screen here, and now we can start the game by hitting the start button here. <laughs> All right, so here is the scoreboard. We have four teams, 
we have team A and team B. Then we have team C and team D. You can also change the team name as well. And we have our scores up here. You can click on this to add the scores and I'll show you that later as well. And in the center here, bottom center, we have the question. So click on that. And this is the QA slide. We can change the question later. Add your question here. And on the right, we have picture. Uh, you can also insert a new image here as well. So click here, anywhere on the question up here. You click on here to reveal the answer. And you can edit the answer later as well. So you can add your answer here. And if they get it wrong, uh, we have on the right here, we have the red card. So if they get the answer wrong, click on the red card and they won't you won't be able to get a chance to uh, to uh, try to score a goal. So click anywhere on the answer here. And now they have three chances, uh, three choices. You have kick right, kick center, and kick left. So you can click on any one of these if they get the answer right. So let's just try one. We'll choose this one. So they missed. You can either click the return button to go to the scoreboard or you can click on the replay button next to the return button so they can try one more time. So let's click on the replay button and then they can try a different one. Let's try kick, kick left this time. And now they made a goal. So click return here and you can add a point to the scoreboard so how that's so that's how this works so let's try it again you can edit your question up here and you can add your picture here and you can click anywhere on the question holder here to reveal the answer and add your answer down here and if they get it wrong click on the red card to go back to the scoreboard click anywhere on the answer holder here to uh, bring up the choices so you kick right, kick center, and kick left. So you can just pick one here. Let's try this one right here. Maybe this one. Okay. Boo! So it's a total missed. So you can either return or replay. So let's try replay. And they can choose uh, one more time. Awesome. Go! All right, hit return and add a point to the scoreboard. And you try it again. Just click on the question here. Edit your answer, uh, edit your question, add your picture. Click anywhere on the uh, question holder here to reveal the answer. And you have your answer here, you can edit later. And click anywhere on the answer to get your choices here. All right, so you just pick one here. Either return or you can Hit replay, so replay, and we'll choose a different one. And they missed two times, so that's it. Hit return, and this team gets no point. All right, we'll just try a few more here, just to show you how this works. And we will also edit this later. Um, if you want more QA slides, for your class or you want to change the pokemon character for the game um we'll also i'll also show you how to do that later if you guys are enjoying my powerpoint game and find it useful uh please don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what works and what i can do to help improve and make better powerpoint games for you guys Also, if you have any uh, PowerPoint game ideas and you want to uh, see me try making it, uh, please don't hesitate to put that in the comment section below. And I will definitely take a look at that and I'll try to uh, make a PowerPoint game around your ideas. I really enjoy making this PowerPoint game as my students really um, like Pokemons. 
but I'll try making different no! variations of this game as well. Also, I will be uh, leaving the font separate, so you have to install the fonts, um, download the fonts and install it. I tried to embed the fonts into uh, the hardware game, but uh, in doing so, it increased the size of the file and uh, made the file a little s slower. So I hope uh, it's okay with you guys. Um, you can also embed the fonts um, for your PowerPoint games. You don't have to install it each and every time. Maybe I'll make a, uh, a separate video on that, on how to embed um, fonts into your games. But as of now, I'm going to uh, keep it separate. Um, because it, uh, once I embed the font um, into my PowerPoint game, it increases the size of, uh, of my file. Alright, we're just gonna try a few more of this uh, just to show you guys here. It's quite simple. You click on the question here, and then you click on the um, question folder here to reveal the answer. And just a little, a little faster. Now. I hope you guys have a wonderful year uh, going into 2024. I hope to make more PowerPoint games for you guys. Um, I'm going to try a few different things um, besides PowerPoint games as well on this channel. And if you guys want to see other things besides PowerPoint games, um, I could try uh, doing that as well. Like PowerPoint books and PowerPoint flashcards or PowerPoint um, uh, presentations and so on. As I mentioned, you can use this however way you want. Put whatever grammar, vocabulary you want to use with your, your classroom or with your students. And if you are parents who are just curious and want to help your child uh, learn certain things, you can certainly use this game for that as well. It doesn't have to be English. It could be math or, or history or anything you want to put into uh, this PowerPoint game. So when we click on uh, the scoreboard here, once you go past 9, you'll hear a certain sound um, that reduces the points. And you can use this um, to reward your students or to help uh, motivate them as well. So let's take a look at how we can edit the question here. So right now we have only 50 Q&A slides. So if you want to make more, um, you can click here. So you click on one of the QA slides here. And underneath the QA slide, you have three choices. This is for the kick right, kick center, kick left. So you have to copy four slides, the QA slides, and then um, the three slides underneath it. Each slide, uh, if you click on it, you will see that it has little hints on on the slides. For example, uh, this one says right. That, that indicates that this goes to the right. That if they choose kick right, uh, they will score a goal. This one as well. And let's check another one. We'll just click on the image here. And this one says middle, so the center. So this one indicates that they can score a goal when they choose center. And this one is the same. And let's check another one out here. Uh, this one says left, so if they choose kick left, they'll score a goal on the left. So whichever one uh, you want to use, it's really up to you. So let's choose this one, copy the QA slide, and then the three slides underneath it. Right-click and choose Duplicate Slide right here. And once you make a copy of that, just drag all four slides to the bottom. So let's grab this, and we'll just drag it all the way to the bottom. Oops, uh, just slide, drag it down here. Let me know if my other PowerPoint games are running well for you guys, and if I need to modify anything and change anything. So we'll put it here at the bottom here. And now we need to change the hyperlink. So right now, the hyperlink is set to um, the previous slides, 
So we need to change um, each link here. So open the QA, new QA slide here, right click, and then we're going to link it to the new slides. So open here, go to action setting, and we're going to link it to 206 here, and just hit OK, and OK here. And for the center, we want to hyperlink it to 207. Right click, choose action settings, and underneath mouse click, we're going to go to slide and scroll down to 207 and hit OK. And the same thing for the last one here, click left, right click, and then hyperlink it to 208 here. Action setting, and we're going to choose this one, choose slide and scroll all the way down to 208 and hit OK. Now we have our new Q&A slide. So we need to change the character. You can change the character by change, uh, right clicking and change changing image and scroll down through our picture to choose a different image. So let's see. Um, let's choose uh, this one right here and insert. And that's all you have to do. And now you have to change the other three uh, picture as well on the other slide. Right click, go to change picture from a file. And we want to use the same character, this one and insert. And let's do the same for the last two slides. And change picture from a file. And let's find the same image. Awesome. Let's do the last one. And let's find the image again. There it is, insert. And we're almost done. Now we need to go back to the um, scoreboard slide uh, we want to make a button that links to the new slide and right now the button is um, invisible so we'll have to um, make a copy of it so on this question button here there's an invisible button so let's open a control pane a selection pane and right now it's um, QA1 so we want to make a copy of this so copy paste this and now we have our new button and it says here QA50 so we're going to call this QA51 so let's go ahead and give it a title here QA51 and then let's link this to our new QA slide which was let's see it was number all right, there we go, 205. So we want to link it to 205. So let's go back up to our scoreboard here and let's find the new QA button that we just created. Right click on it, this one right here, right click on that and go to action setting, hyperlink to, and let's open that, go to slide and let's scroll to this one right here and hit OK. And hit OK again. And now it's linked to our new slide. So let's try it out. Let's click on the question button here. There we go. We have our new QA slide created. And let's just test it out right now. All right, looks good. Let's try it again. Replay. Click center. Looks good. Hit replay again. Let's try kick left. Awesome. All right, hit return button here. Now I'm going to add a point onto their scoreboard. If you want to edit the question, it's quite simple. Just click anywhere here on the um, question holder and make sure you highlight everything and just write your own question, sentence, or grammar, or whatever you're teaching in the classroom. Um, it's really up to you. So let's just type in something here for now. Do you have any uh, brothers or sisters? And then down here, the same, you want to put the answer in here. Um, yes, I do. I have two brothers, one sister. And once you're happy with your question and answer, oh, this is a little big, so we'll just shrink that a little bit. So. Oops, just click on, make sure you click inside the box here. And we'll just shrink the font a little bit. And now you can add the image here by right clicking and choose picture. 
and from a file and insert any picture you want to go along with your question. All right, so once you're happy with that, make sure you save your game. Again, you can repeat the same process um, of making QA slides, and but you have to do uh, make the QA slide and then hyperlink it to the new uh, Q&A button. So here's is what it looks like. And you leave the answer right, click on the answer down here and you can try to score a goal. And if you want the music to be louder, just go to slide number two, zoom out, and you'll find a little um, audio file here. And you can increase the volume or lower it um, how much you want. Or if it's too loud or too, uh, too low, you can adjust it this way as well. I hope you guys enjoy my new Pokemon Soccer All-Star PowerPoint game. And if you do, don't forget to uh, support the channel by liking, sharing, and commenting. And if you want to help out the channel even further, you can click on the little coffee cup here to support more projects like this. Thank you very much. Right now, there's no coffee in there. But you guys can help by uh, clicking on the coffee mug here. If you're new to the channel and you would like to get more awesome PowerPoint game like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. Also, you can help by liking, sharing, and commenting on this video to help push this video out to as many people as we can. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful new year. As always, I want to wish you the best of luck in your classes.